guys, welcome to Vexi Cutie. My name is Abby and today I'm going to show you guys part one on how to build a Vexi Q Clawbot. Now let's get building. So this is what we built in our third video. Shows you, this is the Vex IQ drivetrain. This had 19 steps, so technically if you're building them back to back, this is step 20. So let's get on. Okay, for step 20, you will be needing one of the larger plates and four pins. Snap your four pins into the areas where I am showing. Like this. For step 21, you'll be needing what we made in step 20, eight one by one pins and one motor. Take your one by one pins and snap them in to Now count off five holes, one, two, three, four, five, and snap it in. For step 22, you'll be needing what we made in step 21 and two corner connectors. Okay, so you're going to flip it over and put one corner connector next to your four pins and then one corner connector right next to your eight pins. Looks like this. For step 23, you'll be needing what we did in step 22, one, one by seven, and two pitch standoffs. Attach the pitch standoffs to the two edges. and then attach to the top. And wait till you hear a snap. So this is what it should look like. For step 24, you'll be needing your drivetrain and what we made in step 23. Align it so that the shaft goes in right next to the pins. Pop the pins into your drive base. Should look like this. Almost got it. Should look like this. For step 25, you'll be needing one cord and what we made in step 24. Attach your cord to your to your motor by putting all of the correct sides to the correct sides. And then attach the other side of the cord in the slot 10. Should look like this. For step 26, you'll be needing one of the larger plates and four one by one single pins. Attach these pins like we did in step 20 because these steps are going to be a mirror image of the steps we did before. Look like this. For this step, you'll be needing what we did in our last step and two corner connectors. Attach your first corner connector right here and your second one right here. It should look like this. For step 28, you'll be needing what we made in our previous step, one one by seven and two pitch standoffs. Attach your two pitch standoffs to the two edges of your one by seven. Looks like this. Then, apply this 
here. She looks like this. Step 29, you'll be needing what we made in step 28 and what we made in step 25. You're going to take what you made in step 28 and apply, apply it through the hole and the pins through the holes. It should look like this. For step 30, you will need what we made in step 29 and four double double pins. Now attach your double double pins to your corner connector. You need to attach two on either side. For step 31, you'll be needing what we made in step 30 and one two by six. Attach your two by six by the bottom to your double doubles we clicked, clicked in previously. Just look at like this. For step 32, you'll need what we made in step 31 Bum, ba, dun, da, dun, boom. Four double double pins and a bumper. Attach your four double double pins into the designated slots. Make sure that your co your cord hole is facing upwards, not down. look like this. Now let's move on to the next step. For step 33, you'll be needing two 2 by 2s and two 2 by 4s You will also be needing what we did in step 31. Connect your 2 by 4s first, having the middle hole align. Do this to both sides. Then attach your two by twos on top. So like this. For step thirty-four, you'll be needing one cord and what we did from step 33. Attach your cord into the cord slot. And then attach the other side of the cord into section eight. For step 35, you'll be needing what we made in step 34 one two by four and four single single pins. Attach your four single single pins to the outside. This is going to be connected to your sensor to make a wider range view. So attach it right here. So look like this. For step 36, you'll be needing two collars, two smaller gears, one shaft, and what we build in step 35. Start a pattern by going gear, then you go collar, then you go collar, and then you go gear.
have this a little off center but not too off center and then click it into your motor. You hear a sound that sounds like that when you close it and then you know you've put it in and out. Okay, so I'm going to write what we did today in my notebook, which is steps 20 through 36. While I'm doing this, you guys can subscribe and to become part of my Vexi crew and follow me on Instagram. And you guys should come back next week for part two. Bye!